I'm Anya. This Sean the Harp in his pot. There we go. There's the tent. So guess who was around? And uh, it today is day 93 of From Here to Jerusalem. Did you hear that? That is the church bells of Elst. Uh, so, where was I? Day 87. I was on my way to um, my family. Day 87, I think. I was on my way to the build. Um, I stayed with my uh, aunt and uncle for two days in uh, in uh, in the build. Again, to uh, just to rest up and have uh, just be with my family. I had not spent any time with them in a long, long time. Yeah, day 93 and I'm still in the Netherlands, like three months in. But the Netherlands are going really slow and it's been a real um, learning curve. Best thing, Albert Hand juices. They're really nice. So yeah, quick update. So I went, I went to the build to spend some time with my um, my uncle and aunt, uh, and Lili, and um, it was really, really, really good to be there. It was really, really lovely to be there. It was really lovely to make that connection. Um, and then I, and the walking has been very nice. It's all been forestry and it's been nice and shaded. Now, there was going to be some rain on the day that I was there, I think, which was day 90. And uh, I, uh, I was okay. Oh. I, I, I thought. Maybe I should stay, and I'm I'm glad I did because where we were, it was the rain was there was thunder, lightning, the works, and uh, so yeah, um, stayed stayed there for the day. Um, went for walks with my uncle Vatoyan. We did a lot a lot of talking, and uh, there was a lot to say. There was a lot to catch up on, and uh, then. Day 91, I left for Dorn. So, Dorn, I woke up there yesterday morning. So, in Dorn is the Veteran Institute. And I had a couch with a veteran family. Uh, the husband had served in. Uh, in places like Kuwait, and uh, the wife had served in uh, in some, some like the sad, sad business of Srebrenica. So military people, and uh, it was uh, very, very touching. The whole thing was very touching. Very. Uh, it was very emotional for me for some reason. I didn't cry or anything, but it, it was because uh, I'm such a like, you know not a harp player. <laughs> and these people serve their country and you know sustain harm for the good of all all us citizens. And nowadays, of course, when there is war on the horizon here and there, this is these are like incredible things so we watched birds and talked and I heard the stories and I played some music and it was really really good and then yesterday morning whoop whoop Marcel showed up again with the tent so we he we found a camping where we could put the tent up he put the tent up and he took a bus to come towards me and we uh, we walked together to Dorn and Darn it! Ah, the night before I arrived in uh, so day eighty nine, uh, day eighty eight, I was on my way to this camping. 
and I I called them because I, I knew I wasn't going to go any further. That was the day after. Where had I been? Was it the Fonse Camp? Yeah, and I was on my way to the Seven Linden, but their reception is only open until five o'clock, and they insisted I had to be there before five, so I had a bit of a forced march. And uh, my foot again, like my right foot, blister on my little toe. What is going on? I think the pack is too heavy. The pack is too heavy. Anyway, blister on my right foot, the starts of it. And yesterday it got really, really, really bad. I bound it, I put a uh, computer on it, and it still, it still, uh, it still got worse. So I'm going to have a look at that now, wind, wind it again and put it away again. Now, uh, so the Seven Linden was lovely, like all of the walking has been through forestry and I, uh, Boke, Boke Bomber. I don't know what the name is for those in English. This is the other thing, like, oh, my Dutch is coming back. And then I don't know the English words for things anymore. And I've been talking a lot of Dutch. In the military family, all of a sudden I was talking like a mishmash of both. <laughs> so I'm completely confused. Uh, but I'm feeling really good. Like, apart from that foot, I'm really good. I'm really good. Really good. Uh, and really good Nick, like I feel really strong, I feel really happy. Oh, and so if the seven linen, I, uh, they, they had no space for me to put on my hammock. So I put up the tarp and I slept on the floor and I was, I was mosquito feet for the, for the night like, uh, that was okay. But my sleeping bag is, wasn't really, isn't really great. So I was saying this, like, because I was with military people, I said, like, this is what is wrong with my pack, and this is what I would like to see. And they were like, mm -mm, yeah, mm -mm. what? Sleeping bag? What? What? Two season? And you're heading that? No, that's not possible. So they exchanged my little mini lightweight sleeping bag for two seasons with a bigger still super lightweight because it's only three quarters more in weight than uh, the little one but it's four seasons it keep me warm until mine is left <laughs> oh my god like, so uh that's that's now sorted and yeah i'm i'm like i i'm beside myself about this because <laughs> the one thing we all hate is not being warm when you're asleep. Like during the summer, it's not going to be a real issue, but in autumn, this is going to be an issue. And I won't be able to explain it because I'll be in a country where people won't be speaking my languages. And anyway, that is sorted. Uh, yesterday, the, the walk, so I was walking the trek for pop and uh, uh, I, I did a bit of heather, walked through a bit of heather. Holland is just so, there's all these green corridors and it's really lovely. To the build I walked, um, I got off the, off, off the road again and did the bicycle point. And then you, you really have to walk around a little bit to get to Dorn. Uh, and yesterday we had to do and we're really close, so we're, we're heading south again. I'm heading south again. And uh, I played for a bunch of kids on day 89 as well in the heather. This woman said, uh, said, oh, look, there is a woman with a, with a harp in the old days. If you shared their, your food with them or you gave them presents, they would play your music. And all these kids gave me like half of their sandwiches. <laughs> like, did you do want to have my sandwich? And uh, some nuts and some fruit, and I got to taste like I didn't know that there were raisin trees in the heather and the heide of the Netherlands, but there are. So now I know, and I had them and I tasted them, and they're like little berries, and they do look like raisins, but they're not wrinkled. Um, yeah. What else did I uh, do? So then the build, 
then onward to dawn that was yesterday so the complex where uh, these veterans live are around the veteran institute and the veteran institute they concern themselves with the welfare of veterans in the netherlands as well as um, edu educating uh, education you know uh, send so veterans go into school and they tell about their experiences and what it's like and what they went through and what war means and so they keep the, the idea is just to keep this you know wanting to go to war at bay this idea of people getting really aggressive and yesterday we stopped and we got cherries fresh off the tree Mm. I found um, some wild cherries, um, but these are even better. Like it's just so so good. And I don't really have any more news. Like we're back at the Limes line. Um, yesterday we arrived um, right back at the old Rhine. So my uncle told me about this group which is the uh, friends on the bicycle and uh, they host people who do multiple days it's a Dutch initiative so it's a little bit like couch serving and trust route but you pay 22.50 and you have a bed and you have breakfast and you have to move on yeah you can only stay one day it's not a hotel it's the same as couch serving and trust route you stay with people in their house but 22.50 for a pilgrim budget you know for if you want to be in shelter, is pretty good. Because a camping will cost you something the same. Like was it that camping in um, that camping? What was it? They charged me like twenty euros for the night. And when it was uh, along the along the along the along the fecht, they charged me twenty euros. And then, you know, okay, it was a really nice shower and it was a really nice spot, but it was 20 euros just for pitching my, my hammock for my tarpaulin. And um, the seven linen was actually, it was better. It had a really good, it had, they had really nice showers as well. Uh, and they had like a cart and you brought it back and you paid extra money for it. And it ended up, the pitch ended up being like 15 euros. But then you haven't eaten yet. When I met, like, and I've been meeting lots of people. I met this guy who uh, was a teacher of theology in secondary schools, um, like religious subjects, you know, uh, in secondary schools from Berlin. That was a very interesting meeting. And we're spending a lot of time alone, which is also really good. I did play in the build. I did play yesterday for the veterans. I didn't play then uh, yesterday during the day. Today's Sunday, we'll be arriving in, um, we'll be arriving at um, the, what is it? We'll be arriving at, at um, Renen. Now, Renen is on the Waal. Is it? On the Rhine or on the Waal? I'm, I'm lost now again. Uh, but it's on the way to Nijmegen. I have to call my cousin as well. Oh, there comes, there comes Marcel again. It's all washed. Are you all washed and clean, is it? Are you all washed and clean? I'm doing my update. And uh, and the, that's where the harp shop is, but the harp shop is not open tomorrow. So I'm going to just walk on, walk toward... Um, toward um, uh, Nijmegen, see how far I get. I have to deal with the toe. I'm going to have a look at the blister now. If it is really bad, I might actually pierce it. I put a little thread through it so that it can drain. Um, it's been the pinky toes. I'm not sure it's the shoes. It, it is, I think it's between the weight and the distribution of the weight. So I have to just keep an eye on it. And I keep on stomping, I'd say. I don't, it's really odd. I don't have a much to tell, really. 
apart from progress is steady but slow um, on my Google Maps thing you can really see that I walked like this and then I walked down and now I'm back at the rivers um, fascinated by this this Limes line you know the end of the, the Roman Empire well, um, you keep thinking that things are familiar and yet they're really really strange so you now my new uh, sleeping bag doesn't really fit into my pack so I have to tie it to the pack um, so far that was successful but I will have to go through the bag again to take everything out and see if I can get rid of stuff and there is stuff I'm not using so I still don't understand why I'm logging it around then Oh, and I lost one of my flip-flops. Uh, that is really horrible. Because those I use every day and I don't have to think about having to leave them behind or not. Or so do you also of these. So I'm going to eat them. Look, strawberries and cherries. It doesn't get much better. So, uh, we had pannenkoeken last night. Pannenkoeken are nice. Oh, in the house from the veterans, the husband, after, after he came out of active duty, he went to study in France. He went to work in France for this three, two Michelin star ship. So the food was great. Baked his bread every day, talked a lot about sustainability and the insanity of, uh, of the world we live in. It was really, very, really very good. And of course, you know, in a sense, that's one of the subjects that that is that plays a big uh, part in my journeys. I walk, which means I'm not uh, I'm not uh, I'm not putting anything into the atmosphere. It's completely carbon neutral. And at the moment in the Netherlands, there is a big there's lots of uh, farmer protests going on because um, because the government has decided that the farmers are responsible for all the emissions not industry they're not doing anything about lobbyists and packaging and not no they want about 50 percent of all farms to close down and i get the impression that there is a lot they want to build more they want to give back to nature and then they want to build more it's it's a bit of a wonky crooky kind of argument like yeah 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 of course you know uh, there have been too many pigs in one pen but you can't just put the responsibility with the farmers and farming is kind of essential for humanity like and what about import then and what about um, food miles and stuff so it's a bit of an odd argument but the, the country is an upheaval like they they stop traffic on the on the highways the weather has been really good otherwise today again beautiful day i think in the next few days there's a little bit of rain here and there but nothing much today all we have to do is get to get to rain and then tomorrow i'm uh, heading on really into the the, the south east of the country and it won't be long i think next week i'll be in germany it looks like, uh, but the progress is, it's really slow and really steady. Yeah, yeah, is there anything else I'm forgetting to tell Marcel? <coughs> My hair looks a bit weird, and yeah, we are really looking forward to coffee. <laughs> I'm telling you, cherries. I mean, cherries, Gelderland, cherries, they're so nice. They're so like, and literally they were picked yesterday. We were, we were walking by there. And I've been, yesterday I couldn't navigate. I couldn't navigate every time I took a turn. I took the wrong turn. It took me like three quarters of an hour to get out of, out of, uh, out of Doon. Because every time I took a turn, I took the wrong one. <laughs> was, and then I was stopped by this, by this man. And he had been in the... Uh, uh, what is it? 
with the uh, with the uh, mer with the, in, in the marine services. He had sailed everywhere. He'd been everywhere over the world. <laughs> in his seventies, my film. You want to come with me? No. You don't want to come with me. But um, his wife loves Turkey. And even and they spent some time in Istanbul as well, so we had a good old chat. It was really nice. But a runny nose. I don't know much about what's going on otherwise in the world, but I hear that there is another strain of COVID. Um, I don't know how that's going to affect what, the, what I'm doing. For now, I'm just going to trudge on, I'd say. Uh, like I said, yeah, next week, I'd say I'll be in Germany. So from here on out, uh, I'm going to try and I'm heading from Rain and I'm heading towards the E8. Or I might actually follow the, follow the Lemus line because I'm just fascinated by that entire that entire route and it crosses the E8 a good few times so I might as well take it but I need to sit down and just see where it goes exactly and if there is parts of it that I can do uh, without uh, without adding more miles I found that sometimes again the same thing I was I was getting on so well with this idea of just follow the route markers and I suppose because I started the very, very first time with the Camino which is literally straight on and you trudge straight on and then in France and with the Rome trip I really really got to dislike this idea of having to go in and out of everything just because there is a uh, because it's, uh, I hope so too. I hope so too. Delayed days. I think so. I think I'll 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 bring the nice weather with me. So far, I've been very lucky. Not bad weather only happens because I need to have a day off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm in good spirits as well. Good spirits. Bag a bit heavy. Food, put in a mess, but otherwise okay. Okay, I'm gonna go look after this food. And then I'm gonna go on. Yeah, so Lemus E8, Lemus E8. I don't want to do too much of this work. I'd like to, uh, good morning. I'd like to just uh, do my little, do my little bits and just go as straight as I can. Um, it's all good, it's all good. I'm still having a wonderful time. I'm loving the traveling. Uh, Holland is really, really beautiful. And uh, I suppose, you know, um, enjoy it as much as I can while I can. Now, for today, I'll try and do another update uh, later on, tomorrow, and uh, see if I have more useful things to say. This is it, like three months in, and I'm still nowhere. So there isn't that much to tell. I just need to make just have to make the kilometers uh, which would be great if I did but it's really nice not going too fast either I honestly thought I would have been out of Holland by now then I thought I'd be out of England really pretty soon as well and it, it stretched into the last and as, as many days as I could possibly be in there um, and I think maybe I'm dragging my feet as well because I know I have to do 1,400 kilometers in uh, in Germany, and that's a long trudge for. Uh, no, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for Germany. I've never traveled there. I don't know much about it. Uh, of course, I speak a tiny bit of German because I'm Dutch, but I know nothing about the culture, and I think I'm dragging my feet. So I have to get over myself, just go go there and do my thing. Now, I have a cousin to visit. I have an auntie who is more or less 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers off my route, who I would love to see as well. But I might go, I might not go. I don't know yet. I'm going to decide that in the next few days. And then I have to head to my friend in Essen um, because he's been very, very, very ill. And uh, I'd like to go and see him before I do the rest of the journey. 
uh, I tried to see as many people as I could here. I've missed many of them. Lots of them I didn't get to see, but that's just the way it is. Like, um, summer is trudging on in the meantime, so I do need to keep moving. That's it for me for today. Uh, it is day uh, 93 of from here to Jerusalem. Sean Harp is okay. He's working. Oh, oh, and my thumb. Look, the nail came off. It is off. There's a new nail growing. Uh, it's okay, but it's kind of weird to play. I don't get stuck with it anymore. Uh, just that bit wasn't very lucky. I have I'm having a little bit about the music that I feel that I, I, I haven't done anything about new repertoire and I would like to maybe create some new stuff. So I've been, whenever I've been playing, I've been playing around with different themes and different, different bits and different uh, sounds that I like. Um, but that's out of guilt more than anything. <laughs> I just feel like I've been a, a lazy musician. Now I'm going to go drink my juice, eat the rest of my strawberries and uh, cherries, and then uh, head off to my foot. To my foot, do you want to see my foot? Look, it's a bit, uh, look at that, look at that. That's not great, but it is what it is. Maybe I can make it a tiny bit. Uh -oh. Well, something went wrong there. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for today and uh, talk to you soon. Bye. This is uh, day 93 of From Here to Jerusalem, Anya and Chandra Harp on the road. Bye.